Namaste kings and queens. Thank you for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we hop in, make sure you like the video as it truly helps the channel grow. Please make sure you subscribe if you resonate with your girl. Um, resonate. <laughs> Somebody's putting in a resignation, must be, or thinking about it, but I meant to say resonate <laughs> with your girl. Um, also hit the bell right after you subscribe, those two go hand in hand, so you're always up on when I upload a video. So without further ado, this is for my water babies. Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, wherever you have these signs in your chart. Alrighty, we're just going to go ahead and hop in and see what Holy Spirit needs you to know. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself, loving yourself, honoring yourself and those around you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hop into your energy, water babies. Let's see, Holy Divine Spirit, go ahead and give me the energy for my water babies, Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles. I just heard um, <clears throat> you steady waiting, you're waiting. Some of you are tired of waiting. Some of you are anxiously waiting, excited. There's something that you've invested in or you're thinking about investing in here. Five of Pentacles. It could be in regards to, definitely in regards to finances here. Some of you guys may be worried that you made um, a wrong investment in something. Um, that may be why you're watching it so closely here. Um, I'm hearing uh, let go and let God. All right. Once you invest in something, you know, believe that all is well and watch that shit manifest. Okay. Think positive around your investments is what I'm hearing. Two of swords here. If you haven't invested yet and you're thinking about it, um, definitely take your time. All right, I'm, I'm hearing calculated steps needs to be made here. I'm really getting finances for you, Scorpio. If Scorpio could be specific to you, Scorpio, um, if this is in regards to love, I do feel like there is a, a decision that needs to be made in regards to whether or not you want to continue investing into someone um, or walking away. I'm getting a very um, lack mentality with the five of pentacles. I don't, I feel like that is projected energy. Four of wands. The chariot at the bottom of the deck. Yes, yeah, some of you guys may be thinking about or wanting to move forward. I want to clarify the five of pentacles. I feel like there's a lot going on, but there's, a few things working out in your favor but I feel like you're more worried about what's not going right rather than what's going right even if this is in regards to a relationship I feel like you're looking at the glass half empty rather than half full um, with the two of swords and the four of wands here I do get a happy home I do get um, celebration I get love I get acceptance um, I'm seeing beauty all around you is what I'm hearing. Um, I'm also getting the energy that whomever you're dealing with or connecting with right now, um, they're very happy in this partnership. Okay. 11, 11. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio or Scorpio. You might be dealing with another Scorpio. Some of you guys may be dealing with a fire sign. I'm also getting earth and air energy. Cancerians here. Um, let's get your person's energy. 
I feel like right now, water babies, for the most part, you are focused on making sure things are on the up and up, especially as it comes to your, as it pertains to your home front or taking care of responsibilities. Um, for some of you, you feel like you're the only one that gets shit done. Drake energy. I'm the only one that gets the job done. All right, let's get your person's energy. Four of Pentacles. The mid, uh, the hanged man, I'm sorry. Nine of Cups. Yeah, I did get an energy of them feeling very happy with you, very satisfied. Um, this is something that they definitely want to hold on to. They're hoping you take the time to invest in this relationship, this partnership. The moon, so Piscean and Cancerian, you're here very strongly. We have Capricorn's energy popping up. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with an unhealthy or toxic attachment. Three of Cups, that could be going on. Um, that could be going on either outside of you or this is what's kind of affecting the decision you need to make in regards to someone um, maybe you're connecting with someone outside the um, relationship or they are and you know they are or you you may find this out we have the ten of cups and the two of pentacles let's go ahead and clarify this <coughs> I want to clarify this two of swords for you water babies because there's a de there's a decision <clears throat> excuse me you're going back and forth about about someone something what is this two of swords holy divine spirit please grim reaper fell out <clears throat> grim reaper and not enough the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Yeah. Hmm. So water babies, um, yeah, I'm definitely getting the energy of something coming to an end slowly. Um, I feel like I feel like the reason it's coming to an end for some of you, okay, is because there is an energy of toxicity. There is an energy that may be throwing you off your game. There is an energy of, you know, you kind of feeling like someone is wanting to cultivate with you or connect with you for selfish reason or gain. Um, and you're just not there. Your mind is not in a place where you can pacify somebody's bullshit it's like you're at this point you're you're pretty much frustrated here um some of you guys could be in an energy of feeling like someone else brought you down don't ever blame anyone else someone can have uh somebody could have assisted in putting you in a situation you don't want to be in but don't solely blame it on that person. You know, find your accountability in something. And once you do, move on and fix it. Let's see what this five of pentacles is. Because this is the lack energy that I'm feeling. But I feel like it's in regards to a relationship that you, some of you are just tired of investing in. What is this five of pentacles? We have clock, need time, takes time. Um, in cycles in time cycles time to heal and progress some of you guys are in the energy of trying to heal your finances right now um, some of you guys may have gotten yourself in a financial bind and it's just throwing you off maybe some of you guys aren't even really interested in a relationship right now because you feel like you can't provide or you feel like you can't um, uh, contribute for some of you, this person makes it even harder for you to want to contribute because of the frustration you deal with in regards to this person. For others of you, I'm also getting the energy of 
you just being in a more healing energy as it just pertains to life where someone else is in a very like toxic and worldly energy and it's kind of turning you off here this this Capricorn energy in this three of cups is like really blowing me here this is side energy and then we have the ten of cups and the two of pentacles there's some type of outside relationship being cultivated and I feel like you feel that energy water babies let's go ahead let's get into your person's energy because I mean we do have the moon card here let's see what that is holy divine spirit clarify the moon card a lot wants to come out for that moon card We have the runner, a uh, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Mm, there it is. Some of you guys, it's just as simple as this. You, you are reading through this person's bullshit. Okay, um, whoever this is, they've come across a person, could be another Cancerian. If you're, you're a Cancer dealing with another Cancer, or if you're a water sign dealing with a Cancerian, doesn't have to be that sign, but... That's the energy of the moon, and when we have Pisces as well. But for a lot of you, you're kind of like feeling like I'm not going to put extra stress and ex extra pressure of this relationship or partnership on myself when I already have so much other shit going on. With the Capricorn energy, let me clarify this. Hold on. Because you guys are, I feel like you guys get the energy of this person being a runner. Like, I feel like water babies, you feel as soon as you open up and be vulnerable and let this person in is when they're going to run or run off with someone else, run off with somebody new. Or if they don't run off, they're going to be doing something heinous or, you know, unpleasurable behind your back. Even once you, especially if you indulge in like things you're going through financially, you know, financial constraints and, you know, you're trying to get back on your feet. I mean, I see you staying afloat with the four of wands, but, you know, there's something you're dealing with personally. And I just don't feel like this person can handle that. Furthermore, I feel like they don't even really give a damn. What is this four of pentacles? Why are they trying to hold on to the water babies? Because I just get an energy of an outside affair, an outside relationship, an outside person. This could be you water signs connecting with someone else, but I just don't see you even in that mind state. Uh, we have not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundary, still angry. Hmm. Clarifying the four of pentacles. So I'm getting a moody energy with this person or your person. Okay, they're in and out, they're on and off. They love you, then they don't. They're affectionate, and then they're not. It's like you can't win for losing with this person. When you start pulling away, they start pulling you closer. Some games like that. Yeah, we have acts. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. This is a game. And I feel like, Water Babies, you don't have time for this game. You, you, you're just done. I do see this person planning on breaking up with you or separating from you or there's a need for you to stop the pattern in regards to this this person is going to be um pulling pulling a silent treatment on you what is this uh hangman yeah not showing true feelings uh hide personality oh i'm sorry hide personify pretend delude gaslighting yeah I feel like if some of you guys has, have been having a leery or eerie feeling about someone, you're right on the money. I feel like you need to go with your uh, first thought, with your gut feeling. Let's get some closing energy here. Message of concern. Number 14 breaks down to five. Yeah, challenges, obstacles. Um... Yeah, we have sudden wealth here, water babies. I feel like someone could be holding on to you for the mere fact that they know you are, you do have some money coming in. Remember I told you earlier in the reading, some of you guys have invested in something. 
um, and to be patient and let it just flow in. You you will be having that come in. Yeah, wealthy man. Okay. Number 13 breaks down to four. Yes, more stability coming in. All right. Um, a foundation being built here. We have poverty coming out. And we have mature woman growing up, leveling up. Okay, taking care of your responsibilities. Um, leaving people in the past or in the dirt um, in regards to being in any lack or despair type energy, any poverty struck in energy. I feel like, you know, water babies, we're empaths, right? And we can take on other people's energy very easily and very quickly. So I feel like there's going to be a need for you to separate from anyone at this time who is uh, vibrating at a very low frequency because um, like you got shit to do. What is this poverty? I just don't think that this is your energy. I think this is energy around you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There's a, and there's a need for you to walk away or end situations, places, or things with people who are trying to pull you down either energetically or um, physically. Because I just feel like you have enough on your plate. Yeah, Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, Nine of, nine of Swords. Ten of Swords to the Nine of Swords. So I see here, Water Babies, once you release a certain type of energy or people around you, uh, places or things, your anxiety will slowly decrease. What is this um, sudden wealth? I do feel like um, there are succubus. There is a succubus energy around you. Yeah, Ten of Wands clarifying the sudden wealth. So be aware, you know. Be aware of people trying to come around you and be around you once you get that money coming in. Because I, I feel like you don't even have to say a word once it comes in. You're going to look like money, smell like money, feel like money. Um, like, I just, I just heard investments going up, stocks going up. Shit is just going to be looking on the up and up for you. And people are going to be able to tell. I feel like for the feminine energy, yeah. What did I say? Ace of Swords, clarity, truth. Okay, realizations, epiphany. All right, coming to the terms and realization that you are exactly where you wanted to be and where you've always dreamed to, to be. Okay, um, leveling up requires you leveling up mentally. You can't even, it's like that saying, like, even if a person attains wealth, but they still have a poverty mindset, they're going to completely waste that fucking money. So I feel like right now, water babies, you need to really be getting in the mindset of, of success abundant okay um a high vibration of um uh, i'm just hearing having um a great relationship with money a great relationship with yourself um a great relationship with just people in general and knowing when and who to weed out of your space at this time is very important i feel like that's the message of concern Yeah, the full card. Because there's a new journey. There's a new um, phase. There's a new path that is about to take place for you, water babies. And people may try to look at you, look at you as a fool or naive, but you got to show them better than you can tell them. And that's just that on that. Make sure you're in tune with your intuition. I want to get something on this uh, Capricorn energy and the Three of Cups, and then we can close it out. The love is in reverse. The love is in reverse. The two of wands. Give me one more. And the moon and the tower again. I feel like somebody is engaging in temporary thrills. I feel like there's an energy of someone lying about the situation they have with you or they're lying about a relationship um, just to, um, just for selfish gain, just to get something out of whoever this is or whoever they're dealing with. Um, but I mean, this is gonna be revealed. We have the moon card in the tower. It's gonna come out or this is the message. You're hearing it here, you're hearing it now. Um, whoever you're dealing with, they could be uh, 
they could be dealing with a Gemini or I see a Gemini looking to reach out to you be aware this person is very vexed they're very angry and they're eager to get your attention to tell you something and that's just that on that so I'm gonna leave it there um, I hope this reading helps like before you go and I'll see you guys in the next one I love you Ashe bye water babies <laughs>